Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking you through this little project I did in my studio. So let's get started. This was the corner before, it was super cluttered and the phone and the modem and everything were on show and the doors to the left there on that cabinet were really annoying me. So first of all, I sanded it with an electric sander. I never primed this door properly and it had oil-based paint on it before. So I'm going in with a gray oil-based paint. I think this is blocks it. I think it's Fleetwood that do it, but any oil-based stain blocker paint like bin or anything like that will do. So we are making new cabinet doors because there's a cabinet in my office slash studio that houses all like the electric box and stuff so we can't get rid of it but it was looking really ugly and the doors were all warped i did initially just paint them but because we got insulation in the doors didn't really fit properly or anything like that and they're just really really ugly so my dad had some leftover plywood and he said we could make two doors out of it and this was actually super quick I was afraid it would take us forever so first we cut the right height and it was the right I think it was the right width or something and then or maybe we're gonna cut that now who knows but anyway we got it the right height and the right double the width basically of the, each door and then just did it that way we're doing all the same measurements as the doors that were there before so it made it all super super easy you can see we're drawing a line down the center now because we're going to cut the two doors out We'll talk about what tools are used in the next clip. New doors. Oh, we really used a skill saw. Skill saw with a guide. With a, a guide, yeah. And then plywood. Ply, WBP. Do, what's that? <laughs> Some ply. And tell me, what are you meant to do? All the sawdust that's gone up your nose. Oh, oops. what about your eyes? You have glasses on, you see, mine were, it was getting in my eyes. Okay, thanks dad, bye. You're welcome Sarah. Bye, say bye to the people. Bye. Bye. After we cut them out, I took the old doors off and used the hinges from the old doors also. So we took the old doors and we're measuring where the hinges go. And we're putting that measurement on the new doors. And then we're gonna cut out like a circle. What's this called dad? Where you cut out the circle? Just um, maybe a rebate or something for the hinge, I'm not sure. As long as you don't know what it's called either, that's okay. <laughs> it's not, not as if we know what we're doing. Or no, it's called DIY. Normally you do these with a, one of those sort of bench drills, the drill's gonna come down oh. and it keeps the drill steady. So all I notice that when I'm doing this, it sometimes bounces all over the place. So I've just drilled a hole. Oh in this, yeah, I get you just now. Just to hold the drill steady. But so you just have to make sure that the, the center's in the center yeah, of that how hole. How am I going to know that? Yeah, I don't know. Line it up. He needed me to hold it so I couldn't film it, but we clamped the wood, this piece of wood on, because it was bouncing all over the place, and then used the drill to cut out this circle for the hinge. I didn't get any footage of us putting them back on, but we kept the hinges in the same place, so it was pretty straightforward, and my dad showed me how to adjust them to get the doors right. Here I'm just clearing away all my props that I used to keep on the window ledge and then my like blind couldn't close or anything. Here we are hiding all of the wires and um, my dad recently put cameras in my house so there's loads of wires. And this is how it was looking then. The modem and the phone were still annoying me at this point and we decided to, well I decided to paint my ceiling and I recruited my dad. <laughs> we're using the super fluffy um, two fussy box roller so it went on really quickly and there wasn't as much splatter. Here I'm just painting my radiator in the same colour, it was already pink so it wasn't too bad and I primed the little pipes and I painted them gold because I saw Paint the Town Pastel do that and I was obsessed. <laughs> Here I'm painting the door like this mauve colour and it's like a matte paint so it turned out really, really nice. Now I'm just starting the mural. I'm using the nail and a piece of non-stretchy string and a pencil. This is the same method I used in my curved retro mural, so you check that out if you don't know how to do this. And then I just mask down the line to get two arches. This sort of goes with my mural on the other side of this room, 
so I'll pop a picture of that in and here I am peeling off the masking tape I should say also I used the sealing technique on this so by that I mean I painted the tape white first and any paint that drips underneath the tape is going to be the white paint and not the pink that I'm putting on if that makes sense this is another thing that I did in the retro curved mural also so check that out if you want to see how to do these things as always I will pop the colors below except for the door because the paint sort of spilled on the can and I don't know what color paint this is <laughs> but I'll pop the colors for the mural in my description box below now I am taping up with some plastic and some masking tape to do the light switch my dad kindly um, puts the phone and the modem up for me so that when I hang something out of this little hook then you cannot see them and it's so handy and I think it looks a lot nicer so here is the finished look you can see I painted the light switch and the door handle in the same paint it's hammered copper from Rust-Oleum and then those little handles are from the paneling center and they came that color I think the wood looks really nice I thought about painting the doors on the cabinet but I couldn't really come up with the design so it'll stay plain for now. I might also add some more shapes to this mural because I can't read well alone as you all know. <laughs> but I hope you like this. I hope you like it. It took me a long long time despite how clean it is and, and lack of detail. It took a long long time so I hope you like it. And yeah just make sure you subscribe and check out my Instagram below. Thanks guys.